Greetings fellow Whovians and welcome to Timey Wimey Review. Recently I asked on a Doctor Who Facebook group what has been their favourite or best one time special guest star and I had so many responses for that so thank you very much for doing that and answering that question that I wanted to share this with you on this video. Before I start I just want to say a massive thank you for everyone who has been supporting this channel. I absolutely love doing these videos and there's been some great Doctor related content going on uh, quite recently and yeah your responses as well has been overwhelming uh, and I just like I said I enjoy doing these videos and I just wanted to give that thank you back to you all uh, also as part of this I have launched the timey wine review a Facebook page so if you click on to the link in the descriptions I'll also put the link in the comments as well Please feel free to follow me on Time Rhyme Review on Facebook and do stay to the end of this video because I have something very special planned for this new launching of the Facebook page. Okay, back to this video. Uh, there's only one rule really, one main rule, and that is the special guest star has only made one televised appearance in Doctor Who. I'm not including Big Finish Audio in this because that'll just make things so much confusing as awesome as Big Finish Audio are. So, for example, for Paul McGann, he's not included on this list because how much he was amazing as the Eighth Doctor in the Doctor Who TV movie. He also made a little mini episode in The Night of the Doctor and also made a very recent cameo appearance in The Power of the Doctor. However, Eric Roberts, who played the Master in the TV movie, can make an appearance on this list because that was his one televised appearance. With all the suggestions so far, I've put them all, folded them all up in this envelope. So I'm just going to pick them out at random and talk about my uh, opinions or my sort of fond memories of this particular actor or actress. So here we go. The first one. And it is, wow, Nicholas Parsons. I don't think you can see that on there. Nicholas Parsons was the reverend or vicar in the Seventh Doctor story, The Curse of Fenric. And this is one of those where John Nathan Turner did get criticised for his part as a showrunner during Doctor Who in the 80s by sort of stunt casting and just picking out uh, guest stars that don't quite fit the, the, the character that they were playing in Doctor Who. However, I think everyone was blown away by this performance by Nicholas Parsons. Obviously, probably at that time, he was probably more uh, synonymous for being a game show host rather than an actor, but he was. He did quite a lot of radio and uh, voiceover work way back when in the 60s. And yeah, his performance here in The Curse of Fenric was fantastic. Probably one of my favorite performances. Okay, here's the next one at random. Richard Bryars, another one from the Seventh Doctor era. This one he was starring in as the caretaker in Paradise Towers. I absolutely love Richard Bryars. So lucky to have met him at a Comic Con before he sadly passed away. Again, most famous for being in comedy sitcoms such as The Good Life and Ever Decreasing Circles. But he was the caretaker in the Seventh Doctor story, Paradise Towers. And... For most of it, uh, yeah, he was really, really good, especially being the sort of the pedantic sort of rule regulator. Um, it's just a shame that they turned him into this weird zombie at the end of part four of Paradise Towers. That that was a massive mistake on that one. But for the rest of it, yeah, he was fantastic. Next one, again, totally at random because it is quite boring just watching me shuffle it all out. And that is Sarah Lancashire. She was, of course, Miss Foster in the opening episode of Series 4 of Modern Doctor Who Partners in Crime, which I have reviewed on this channel also. And yeah, she's a another fantastic actress. And if you don't believe me for a performance in Partners in Crime, check out Happy Valley. She is amazing in that drama series. Next one, all nicely folded up, and it is Peter Kay, another one from the modern era of Doctor Who. Again, I've already reviewed this episode. He was in Love and Monsters. And yeah, for the most part, again, I thought he did a really good performance. I really liked how he was like this straight-laced sort of villain, the one really relying on his comedy style for the most part of this episode until he actually turned into the Absorbaloff and then it went a little bit into sort of Peter K comedy mode 
I know a lot of people are pretty divided on this episode. So again, let me know in the comments, what did you think of Love and Monsters and Peter Kay's performance in that particular episode? Quite enjoying picking this all out at random. I hope you are enjoying this video as well. And ah, oh, yes, absolutely. Kerry Mulligan, a.k.a. Sally Sparrow from the third series of Modern Doctor Who, Blink. And bring this character back, please. Um, I just, you know, I think everyone, a lot of Whovians have said bring this character. I think if, if there was a top five, I think she'll be easily top three, if not the number one of the character to return to Doctor Who. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. Next one, and oh, Christopher Gable. I, this is probably one of my personal favourites. He was Starris Jack in the Fifth Doctor story, The Caves of Androzani. And uh, again, such a menacing performance in that story. It's probably one of my personal favourite stories of all time in the history of Doctor Who. It's between that and Genesis of the Daleks. I mentioned that quite a few times on this channel. And yeah, if you've not seen Case of Angelani, check it out. It's a absolutely stellar casting anyway. Stellar performances by Peter Davison and Nicola Bryant. But the, the cast as well, it just everything works so well. I will be reviewing this story at some point on the channel. But yeah, Christopher Gable, absolute show stealer in this story. Next one, all picked out. Quite exciting, this. <laughs> oh, absolutely. John Hurts. Sir John Hurts. Of course, I think he's got to be the ultimate one, hasn't he? Obviously making an appearance as the War Doctor in the 50th anniversary special, The Day of the Doctor. I mean, obviously, we're very lucky enough that he did a few audio adventures for Big Finish Audios before he sadly passed away. But yeah, that was, I mean, um, that, that big reveal as well. I mean, I won't count that. That was just a little snippet, I think, on this one, because this was, again, voted by yourself. But yeah, that, that appearance in the, the Day of the Doctor is, yeah, breathtaking. Uh, I'll be reviewing that uh, particular special later on this year on the Time Rhyme Review YouTube channel. Uh, but suffice to say, yeah, he's he's got to be one of the ultimate ones. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. I think we'll do one more, shall we? And this one is Michael Jason, a.k.a. The Valyard from the Trial of the Time Lord season. Uh, again, I've reviewed the full season on the Time Rhyme Review YouTube channel and yeah, a, a fantastic special guest star as well. Being the Valiard, the antagonist for the Sixth Doctor throughout this season. And yeah, some people like the courtroom scene, some find them a bit sort of um, too uh, distracting when it's sort of flowing with the rest of the stories that was incorporated in this season. But you can't deny his performance in this televised story. Obviously, he did return in the audio adventure of The Trial of the Valyard, which is something I wanted to check out and review at some point on this channel. But yeah, I mean, it just shows from the list that I've just took, and I've not even barely scratched the surface on this one, the amount of amazing one-time special guest stars throughout the Doctor Who's 60-year history is phenomenal. And, you know, again, I mentioned earlier about J&T and the stunt casting type of thing. Um, you know, you can agree or disagree on that one, but the amount of people... Uh, and actors that and actresses that want to make an appearance in Doctor Who then and now you know they are queuing up the block and if, or if they've been asked it's pretty much a yes please so uh, yeah um, like I said so many fantastic actors and actresses I would love to do another video like this again because just picking them all out at random it's just a lot of fun and with that, I have got my very own idea. So what I'm going to do, with it being the Women's World Cup at the time of recording, I'm going to do a tournament of voting basically the, the, the best one-time guest. And this will all be voted for and chosen by you, my fellow Whovians. Let me know in the comments below who is your favourite one-time special guest stars for Doctor Who in its entire 60-year history. And also check out the Time Wine Review Facebook page later on this week as I'll be starting off the tournament and you get to vote 
the top two to go through into the elimination rounds and you'll be voting all the way through this process until we are crowned into the finals to crown the top one-time special guest star for Doctor Who. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I enjoyed making this video and like I said, I would love to do another one in the near future. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below again your favourites. Also check out the Time Wine Review Facebook page as I begin this tournament later this week. Hit the close bell for more notifications. Come say hello and follow me on Twitter at Review Timey and do check out my other fantastic Doctor Who content on the Time Wine Review TikTok page and right here on the Time Wine Review YouTube channel and as a good doctor once said would you like a jelly baby <laughs>